Today we're going to be doing some basic trigonometry, specifically a key skill which is reading Sokotoa. We're going to be writing it like this, up and down, up and down, up and down, to complete our triangles. So you start in the bottom left corner, so, then ka, then toa. What do all these letters mean? Well firstly, the letters in the bottom left hand corner, we've got sine, cosine, and tangent. Those of you who know how to label sides may also spot what the remaining letters are for. We've got two O's here. These are the opposite sides. We've got the H's, which represent the hypotenuse sides. And finally, we've got the A's, which represent the adjacent sides. I'm going to show you the cover up method. I'll show you one triangle at a time, and I'll start by showing so. It starts with the bottom, goes up, and then down again. Now to read this, you want to start the formula with the element you're trying to find. So for instance, if we try and find the angle, and we're trying to find a sine of the angle, we'll put sine theta equals, sine of the angle equals, and then we're going to cover the sine up. There's the weird alien hand. So now we've covered sine up, we want to see what's left. Well, we can see we've got opposite over hypotenuse, and there's our formula complete. So if you want to find sine of the angle, you do opposite over the hypotenuse. But what about if you want to find the opposite? Well, let's move our hand about. To start with, we want to write opposite equals, and we've covered up the opposite, so we want to see what's left now. And what's left is sine of the angle times the hypotenuse. And for the last one, we're going to take our hand, and we're going to cover up the hypotenuse. So we have got hypotenuse equals We've covered up the hypotenuse now, so what we have left is the opposite over sine of the angle. So using our triangle and cover-up method, we have now found three formulas. Let's have a go with the second triangle now. We'll go through this a bit faster. We've got ka in our triangle. We want to find cos of the angle first, so cos theta equals. Let's get our hand, cover up cos, and what we have left is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Next, let's cover up the adjacent. So we then have adjacent equals cos of the angle times the hypotenuse. And finally, let's cover up the hypotenuse. So we want to make hypotenuse equals, and what we have left is adjacent over cos of the angle. So there's our next three formulas. Lastly, we've got TOA. So we've got TOA in our nice little triangle. Let's cover up tan first. If you're trying to find the angle, you want tan of the angle, or tan theta, equals what's left there is opposite over adjacent. Next, let's find the opposite. So the opposite equals, we're left with tan of the angle times by adjacent. And lastly, if we cover up the adjacent, we've got adjacent equals and what's left over is opposite over tan of the angle. So there we have it, nine formulas altogether. And that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something or revised something which was useful to you. And I hope you're as happy as this chappy here. Happy chappy. See you in the next video.